Hey there, LEGO fans. Welcome back. Alex here. In this video, we are going to take a look at the completed section of the Micro City build, which is the residential area. That's what you're looking at right here. I have these sections removed altogether from the other sections just so I can have more, more space to work with here. And speaking of that, look at, look, I cleaned up a little bit. I mean, it's still a mess. It's, it's still an active project, but I mean, the last video, I agree. Some of you said, wow, that is a mess. But I cleaned up a lot of it, had to organize a bit so that I'm ready to work on the next section, which is going to be the rural area. But for now, we've got this. Let's go ahead and pull up my chair here and show you guys. Uh, the elephant in the room is going to be this. Yes, the football field actually is in here. After my last video, I said uh, it was a difficult choice, but I'm, I'm not going to put it in. But I, I was just looking at it, I thought, you know what? I bet I can make it look good. So I worked on that area, got it in here, and it's pretty neat. Let me show you how this is actually integrated. I really like this technique. Um, it's pretty fun. Uh, let me see if I can actually dig this thing up here. But that's it. Uh, and that plops in there, and I have some supports for it. Uh, but that's it. It just kind of sits in there nice and snug. And then I just surround it with these tiles, and it looks pretty darn good. Now I did send some pictures to the client because I wanted to make sure that he was okay with it because I know that he originally wasn't uh, too fond of a, a baseball or football or whatever stadium, right? But this is not a stadium. It's a high school, right? We have a high school here. We have the high school football field next to it. Um, and so I built, uh, you know, some general stands around it. And I asked him, hey, I did it. If you don't want it, I'm happy to take it out. But he got back to me just today and he said, you know what? It's all good. I think I like it. He had one suggestion take the end zone color from yellow and make it blue. And I did that, that was easy enough. And I think that is mostly because of a certain rivalry, uh, ri rivalry here in Utah between colleges that have red and blue. So there you go. So that's staying, I was, I'm so happy uh, that it's staying there. So uh, yeah, the high school, it was still there. And uh, I, as you can see, I put some yellow buses in here to kind of help, you know, yes, this is a school. It's a school district, it's a high school. Uh, there's some other things that I'm, uh, there's some pieces I'm waiting on that I'm nervous I'm not going to get uh, anytime soon. It still shows in warehouses, the ones that are in Bill, and there's just a few pieces, but I need them. So I really hope they get to me soon. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to have to deliver this thing 99% complete with the pieces arriving a little bit later. So uh, we shall see. But for the most part, pretty happy with that. But let's take a look at the houses. Uh, we, we had to redo this area right here. I pulled out a lot of the houses and rebuilt some and reorganized some. My wife Mindy came down here and she helped me switch around some color schemes with the roofs uh, because she's better with stuff like that. So she helped me out there. So this side, I think I mainly have this area right here pretty much done uh, last in the last video or update. And so this, this section right here is all pretty much new. Uh, so we have this street going through here and then it kind of turns off up to here. And we have these two uh, duplex uh, buildings right here. And then we have this house right there. And we have the park area. So the park, uh, this one is, yeah, I, I, I don't know if this, <laughs> all right, so here, here's the deal. I had a really hard time trying to figure out a way to make a micro scale park look like a park that kids would play on. Uh, trying to get a swing set or pull up bars or monkey bars or like, they, this is supposed to be a merry-go-round, right? And I just put some miscellaneous stuff here that kids would climb on. Uh, I even built this big rocket ship because I remember when I was a kid playing on playgrounds, they always had big structures for us to climb on. But it's it is quite large. I get that. I mean, it's like taller than you know this this house. So this is something that I am more than happy to get some suggestions from you guys on. Uh, would hap would be happy to hear what you guys have to say about that. Then we have these two pavilions right here to offer some shade if you want to have lunch there in the park. But other than that. That's it. Uh, that is the update. That is the completed look. I did a lot of restructuring. A lot of what you're, the updates that I do here, you don't see on the surface. It's a lot of underneath stuff. So um, as I as I put this these sections together, I have to kind of fortify the under area, under zone, whatever you want to call it, so that it's more, uh, that it's stronger. Uh, because these plates, as you put all the Lego on it, they do get very, um, I don't know, they get bendy. But as you can see here, I can lift this thing up and there's very, very little flex in it. Very little flex. And that is because I have 
strengthen the core by using a lot of bricks, like two by four bricks, uh, just to kind of help support it all and make it a more solid build. It does add weight to it, I'll tell you that much. Um, also, uh, the beveled edges here, uh, these are a nice decoration. I like how these look, it kind of gives it a high-end look. Um, however, they do pop out really easy, as you can see. Uh, so that's gonna be something that is just gonna be part of the build to be kind of re cognizant of. In fact, as I lifted it, I think I probably popped out the, the beveled edge at the back there, which I did, yeah, I can feel it. Uh, so it, it definitely wants to be on a flat surface. Uh, that is for darn sure. Um, there was some suggestion about the uh, color of the streets. I kind of wanted to differentiate the color of the streets in the neighborhoods uh, to the dark bluish gray, other than the black. Uh, there is an argument to be made about making uh, this street also the same color, although I don't have enough resources to do that at the moment. I'd have to make another order. Uh, that's on my mind, but uh, for the most part, I'm actually pretty okay with it. Uh, but yeah, that is, uh, that's the section. That's the residential area. And now I'm going to turn my time and attention over uh, to the uh, rural area or farmland area, which is going to be on the other side of the track. So it's going to be right here. So I'm going to grab that section. It's my new empty canvas. And uh, again, that's going to be a very different approach to what I've been doing. This was this was a fun challenge. It was so different than the downtown area. I do appreciate your, your comments about uh, the vehicles and kind of uh, mixing up the vehicles a bit more. I mean, I know I got the buses in there, which is great. Uh, but I'm trying to do more trucks, vehicles like this. Um, there's also a truck right here, you know, just trying to make it a little bit different with my vehicles. Uh, but... Uh, uh, and I'll do that, of course, with the farmland as well. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, I'm, I'm making these uh, little bushes here. Uh, so they're a little above the surface. I really like those. Um, I'm going to order more of those and put them around because I think I'm going to, I used all of my, my uh, uh, circular edges there that I had in my own personal collection. And yes, again, a lot of pieces in my personal collection I am using. But I think for this particular section, I think the overwhelming majority of it did come from uh, pieces that I, uh, that I had ordered for the project specifically. So, all right, guys, uh, that's going to wrap it up for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll have a new update here very soon. I'm very excited for this project to end. I mean, it's been a blast, uh, but there's other things that I got to get going on. Uh, so uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that, which should be very soon. Until then, you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.